you guys got any questions, feel free to ask. Check out my uh, profile. If you go on my my um, bio, it's got a, a few playlists, and one of them's called drills. Just use some of those, mate. If you're struggling, I mean they mainly work on cue ball control, but that's what you're going to want to work on when you're at, when you're at that level. So. How's it going, Wilbur? Good to see you, mate. Alright, I'm only here for about an hour and a half today, Mother's Day and everything, so figured I'd uh, jump on for uh, an hour or so. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Get the scoreboards out. Go for a few clearances. Appreciate you guys tuning in on YouTube. Again, if it's uh, your first time on, welcome. Only really been going live on YouTube for a week and a bit. Um, so typically what I try and do is clear the table from the break and tell you guys what I'm thinking whilst I'm doing it. So if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Nice one, mate. Enjoy. Where is the brake pad? Okay, let's get it. Okay, so write down the colour you would go for in the chat. And I'll tell you why I would go for it, whatever I go for. Again, if you're unfamiliar with the game, English eight ball pool, similar to American eight ball, but just uses yellows and reds instead of solids and stripes. I don't really like reds. I don't like where the black is for yellows, but I don't like reds. So I'm gonna go yellows because they're more spread out. 
I don't like this yet. This red, this red is really bad. Those two kind of get in the way of each other. Um, these four yellows, five, six yellows are fine. It's just the black, but you could probably break the black out if you land here. You play this ball with right hand side, you can go into the black. So that's my intention. I think I'm going to do that straight away. So let's play this ball first. And then the only ball I've left here, hopefully, I should really have looked at this yellow. <laughs> should be able to go into it. That yellow might get in the way. I'm gonna try, but I've got a feeling it's gonna get in the way. Okay, okay, so at least now the black doubles. So the question is when you double it. Um, I think you wanna double it from this ball ideally. Make this ball first, see what happens. Let myself on that. So the finish will hopefully be this ball to the corner. Swing around two cushions to here. Got a choice of two then. I could play this one or this one. Then I'll pop the opposite one and then leave the cue ball here for a double on the black into this middle pocket. Slow, slow, slow. I wanted the choice of two, but I've really only got the one now. It's not too much of an issue. Just land here, play that into the middle, and then leave the white where the yellow is, play that double on the black. in the end. <clears throat> first frame, first clearance. Cheers Ted, appreciate that. Again, if you guys got any questions, feel free to ask. Live from opposite ends of the table today, TikTok behind me, YouTube in front of me. You don't need to nominate the pocket in English, April. Only in American pool do you nominate. Wow, what a bad break. Is that red gonna go in? Jeez. All right, let's go anyway. Okay, so not a great split. I think I'm going to go reds. Uh, yeah, I don't like where the yellow or this black is, or the black is for yellow. So I also don't like this yellow or this yellow. With reds, I can play this ball first and then focus on breaking out the problem ball, which is this red. The worst ball on the table for reds is obviously this one, but I don't like this one either. So try and develop the problem ball second shot and then go from there. Play this with a bit of top spin to try and I'm going straight into this yellow. In fact, I don't know if I even like doing it that way. This is prop yeah. I'm not gonna break the red out with this shot. Why did you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> Thought the yellow was gonna go here. Okay, this is now not a clearance, most likely. But keep going. Anyway, <clears throat> great to see everyone on TikTok. Thanks so much, everyone tuning in on YouTube as well. Be sure to hit that sub button if you haven't, or that follow button on you on TikTok if you haven't already. 
Again, just going through a solo practice session today. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try and talk through the clearance as I go. So it's currently one all in games. So the blue number is whenever I clear from the, uh, from the break without missing. And the red number is if I miss at any point. Best way to learn how to clear the table, yeah, if you check out the drills on my page. You need to learn cue ball control for a start. That's, that's number one. All right, write the color you guys will go in the chat, reds or yellows. If you were at the table, what color would you go? That all comes down to practice, Yasin. Yeah, write down the color you would go for, reds or yellows. I think, to be honest, there's could go for either, so it's just which word, which you prefer. Uh, I personally prefer how all the reds are in the middle of the table. Don't love this red because it only really goes in here. With yellows, these two reds kind of just a little bit awkward to get on this yellow. I think I'm going to go reds. I just prefer how they have the middle of the table. So first shot, this one. Uh, Scrap that first shot, this one, second shot, this one, and then we'll work, figure out a clearance from there. Okay, so ideally I land here for this ball next into that corner, because that will leave me a shot on this red to this one after that. Stop, stop, stop. Too much, just. It's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal. It means that I can't land on this one to that corner, so I've got to go for this one. Yeah, that one's next. This is going to become an awkward finish, guaranteed. From this one, I want to be over here for this one. Don't like it. Hated it. <clears throat> anyway, don't know what I was really thinking there. That was, uh, that was not a great pattern from the start, to be honest. Okay, let's go again. Hope everyone's doing well. Again, tuning in on uh, TikTok. It's currently 1,700 of you on uh, TikTok and 30 of you on YouTube. Just started tuning, uh, going live on YouTube. If you guys want to see this from the opposite end of the table, check out my YouTube channel. The link is in my TikTok bio. Likewise, if you're on YouTube, you want to watch some TikTok, go into my YouTube bio and click on my YouTube channel. You'll see it from the opposite end of the table. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, ball in hand behind the line. What colour would you guys go, reds or yellows? Write it in the chat, one free shot. Uh, sorry, ball in hand behind the line, but you've only got one shot. You don't have two shots in international rules. You guys can write the colour, but I think there's only really one. Yeah, you wouldn't go yellows here, I don't think. Reds are a little bit awkward, but should be making them. I'm probably going to leave a double second shot. This is not a great ball, neither is this. I want to play this one before this one, ideally. All right, let's just get the first two balls and then figure out a finish from there. Way too far for the double. It's not a good shot at all. Again, I'm just a little bit off with the patterns at the minute. Let's get rid of the problem ball next. Okay, still not out of the woods. Could go for this one to the corner now, but very missable. Problem with that one is I'm going straight into the yellow and probably leaving the cue ball there. So I'm kind of forced into playing this one now. Okay. 
Okay. So obviously where the black is, where the black is, the ideal last ball is this one, because you leave the cue ball either side of the yellow and you've got the black to the corner. If you leave this ball last, you've got to go past the black and if you hit the black, it's a problem. So play this one first to here, ideally to where the red is now actually. That one's second, come off to here, third, screw back to here, fourth, and then move forward to there, fifth. That's ideal, whether it happens on current form, probably not. That's awkward. Going straight into the yellow and snookering myself if I decide to run past it. So I've got to dig down and try and come back to here to play black into the corner. <clears throat> cool. Okay, so two out of four. Yeah, this is English straight ball for anyone who's not familiar with the game. Similar to American pool, just reds and yellows, some different rules. The cue ball's smaller, the balls are smaller than the American balls, so. Uh, I can try and explain where I'm hitting the cue ball as I'm going, but what you'll probably find is the more that I overthink it, the more I miss. I will try, but um, the edge. Yeah, Bear with. Something go down. All right, again, write down the color you would go for in the chat. Reds or yellows? Both are difficult. But all is spread out, it's just which one's easier if there is an easier ball. In a situation like this, it's not which one's easier, well, this isn't going to sound like it makes sense, but it's which one is harder. That doesn't make any sense, does it? To me, I'm just looking for the most difficult ball set as opposed to the easiest one. If I look at all the problem balls, I can then work out which one's the hardest one and then I go for the opposite colour versus looking for the easy balls and trying to figure out the easiest finish. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so you've got to look at the problem balls first. So a lot of people will probably go yellows because you've got a ball here that's an easy first ball and then you've got a yellow over the pocket. The problem with yellows is this ball is probably the hardest ball on the table, the worst ball on the table. Very difficult to develop. <sighs> Saying that, you could potentially go into that like that. Now with reds, the worst red on the table is this ball. Where does this go? You could potentially double it or double it into there. That's a very difficult ball as well. So they're both very difficult. So it's finding out which one is <laughs> best of a bad bunch, really. Um... All right, let's go yellows. I wouldn't normally, I don't think. I'm gonna go yellows because I wanna come here to there, play that. And then I think if I can eventually land here to play this ball into there, I can then leave the cue ball here, play this yellow against this red and pot it, and that frees up the pocket for the bad yellow. Getting there is going to be a real issue, but we'll see. Past it, man. Still got that yellow, but it's not great. Ooh. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm playing this ball to the middle now, then I'm playing the breakout shot. This probably means this is last, which isn't great. Um, so yeah, play this one to the middle first, screw back slightly. Play this red yellow against the right hand side of this red, knowing that I'll leave the cue ball here for a shot on this yellow to the middle. Just need to move the red enough. Does it go? It just goes. So now I've got to figure out the finish between the last three yellows. And where the black goes, because the black's not in a great place. Like in the current situation, I've got to play that ball last, but the black is in a terrible place for that, because it doesn't go in this corner. So now what? Um, black doesn't really go anywhere. Okay, so what I'm looking at, this ball first, leave the cue ball here, this ball second, and I've kind of got to leave myself a shot like this on this last yellow. Play that last yellow with bottom left hand side, hope to come here, and then it's probably going to end up somewhere like this for a shot on the black to the middle. It's a difficult finish, but this was never going to be an easy clearance. trying to go off bottom left hand side hit this cushion hit this cushion and end up anywhere here what I don't want to do is bounce off that cushion and land here so just got to judge the speed and obviously this is a hard enough pot as it is when you're playing it with bottom left it's even harder Appreciate it guys. Hit that follow button if you haven't already. Plenty of live practice sessions and matches. If you haven't seen my channel before, I tend to just talk about what I'm doing, talk through each shot. How's it going, Wayne? Good to see you, mate. Sorry I didn't see you on the YouTube chat just now. Uh, the cue that I recommend is in the link in my TikTok bio or my YouTube bio. Um, and it is. The ultimate pool master cue is the one I recommend to people. Tips for doubling. I have, I feel like I have a video on it. Um, I'll try and talk through some tips after this, um, after I've gone through these clearances. All right, write in the chat, what would you go, reds or yellows? Again, reds or yellows with this finish, what would you do? I think there's only really one option. Yeah, you've got to go yellows here. So these two reds, maybe, and this one to an extent, and to be fair, this one. There's three good reds, which you don't have a shot on. You have to play this one first, which is terrible. With yellows, you've got a nice easy one to start which leaves you here with a little bit of topspin. Play this one second, and if you land there, you've got this one third. The black and this red are in a little bit of an awkward place for these two yellows, but this yellow does go to the middle pocket. So what I would look for as a finish is finish here. Um, hang on, let me just look for an angle on this middle bag. So yeah. I need to be here from this yellow, play that shot there, land there, because then I can play the finish of this ball to here, play this ball next, screw back to there, play this ball, leave the cue ball where that yellow is to play this ball, and then leave the cue ball where that yellow is to play the black. So that's the pattern. 
The first shot really dictates that. I need a good angle on this to be able to get into this space. Any too much of an angle and I'm not going to be able to get the finish that I want. So I need to come forward, it's like six inches or so. Okay, so that works. Again, I'm I don't want to be here. Like this is too much of an angle. This is obviously terrible. Need to be in the middle, right there. Okay, so that's all right. I'm going to be running close to this yellow. I still think I'll be far enough away. I want to be top side of it. Basically, I don't want to end up here. I want to end up here because that allows me to get back to here for this yellow to the middle. Okay, that's fine. I can use bottom right hand side kick off the cushion and again I need to be on a straight line this yellow to the corner, uh, middle. So. Okay, so that looks pretty good. <sighs> That's too much of an angle. Okay, so I want it to be here, and this is where it's fine margins. If I land here, I can land where the yellow is to play the black there. But where I'm slightly over to the right, I've got to play the yellow, and I'm moving towards the black. So if I play slightly below center, and aim to hit the red, the cue ball will hit the red, land here, the red moves away and I leave myself that shot to the corner. So I need to hit the red here, I can't hit the black. Okay, so a slight adjustment there, but that was because I was a centimetre out of position, basically. Appreciate the likes, follows, and shares, guys. Again, if you're new to the channel, thanks so much for checking in and checking up. Again, just talking through some clearances today. Tips on positioning, go through the drills that I have on my bio. I have a pl few playlists, one, la one labeled drills. That is a really bad break. <laughs> I kind of want to re-rack these because I didn't set them up properly, but this is an example of a frame where you probably wouldn't go for a clearance if you were in a match. You would probably try and put a color like this red and maybe cover this red into this pocket and make your opponent mess up. but. For the sake of the uh, video, I will try and clear up. Likelihood, very slim. Need to break out the problem ball early. That actually works out now. It's become like a 30% chance of a clearance, maybe. Still don't really know an order. I know it's going to be difficult to get out of this space in this area. That's close. I could try and go into the black now, but there's no real value in it. Mm. I think I've got it though. Let's try and break the black out and hope the white goes into a good spot. That's good. All right, so we're just starting to open it up a little bit more now. It's starting to look a little bit more appealing. Probably gone from 30% to a 40% chance of a clearance now. The main issue being where the black is. So the black really only goes into this middle pocket. It doesn't go past this yellow to here. So what that tells me is that I really need to make this ball my last ball to then land here to there. So if I work backwards from this ball, which out of these four gets me in a position like that? Or it could be like that, right? As long as it's on this line to be able to finish on the black, which of these four balls does that? So I'm kind of working backwards here. Um, this ball is definitely the best ball out of the four because you can move the cue ball into this open space here from that red. So now it's a case of figuring out a pattern between the last three reds. These three reds, sorry. 
All right, let's play this ball first. Hope to leave myself a shot on this. Got to hit this super soft. Okay. So from there, where I'm now on this ball, I can play this with bottom right, land here, play this ball next, move forwards to here, there, play this ball, and then I'm on that line that I was talking about. I can screw back and land here, play that ball last, and land on that space for the black into the middle. So that's the goal. Okay, not far enough on this for the middle, but having it to the corner, it's fine. It's just a little bit of a harder shot. I want to land straight on this last uh, second to last red, ideally, so top spin with this. Uh, it's not terrible, but I want it to be kind of there. So, again, actually, I can land here for this red, and that moves me into this yellow, which then leaves me the black to the middle. So, I'm okay with being here. I don't have to be straight on this red. I can be over there here somewhere. So, bottom right hand side on this. And I know moving the yellow from the red, I'm going to be leaving the cue ball pretty much where the yellow is for the black into the middle. Top spin on this. Cool. Got there in the end. So that looked like a, well, that didn't look. <laughs> That was a terrible break, but just managed to get a little bit lucky with a few flicks here and there. And um, yeah, managed to get the finish. I think that's three in a row as well, so I'll take that. Again, if you guys have got any questions, feel free to ask. If you haven't already hit that follow button, please do so. I'm live on opposite ends of the table today on you TikTok behind me and on YouTube, I'm, I'm live on the opposite end of the table. So if you want to check out the other angle from this, be sure to check out my uh, Opposite channel to what you're look, what you are watching on. Okay, again, write down. Write down what colour you would go for in the chat, reds or yellows. Remember, don't just look at the easy first shot. So I can guarantee you, all of the beginners in the chat are looking at this ball thinking, oh, it's an easy first shot, and therefore I'm going to go yellows. Don't think of it like that. Think of the bad balls. Cheers, Wayne, appreciate that. So... I might have thrown you off, a few of you off when I just said, don't just look at that easy yellow. You're probably going to go yellows here. If we look at the bad reds, you've got one and two. This one is arguably worse than this one, because this one is probably easily, easily developed by one of these three. Whereas this red, even if you develop it and move that yellow, it still doesn't pot into this corner. So you're going to have to double it, you're going to have to move the red itself. Whereas with yellows, Really, the biggest problem with the yellows is obviously the black, but you could probably move the black quite easily from one of these two. Those two yellows down the opposite end of the table being far away from these four isn't ideal, but you can go up and then make your way back. Basically, when you're trying to clear the table, one of the key elements is trying to keep the cue ball tight and not having it move up and down the table. If It's, tra it's called traveling the white. If you're traveling the cue ball loads, you're probably gonna run out of position and then mess up. So I think we've got the first shot here on this yellow. Ideally, I want to land somewhere like there, because I can then go, I'm looking for the ball that breaks the black out. So I go this one to there. This is not ideal. With those two yellows where they are, this is not an ideal layout. All right, I'm just going to play and see what happens. <laughs> okay, so I've left myself a choice of two. Play this one or this one. I'm meant to be here. I overhit that one. So 
But again, which ball is breaking the blackout? I think I prefer right now to play this, pot it, move that red, because then it just opens up the corner for this yellow. So say if I leave this yellow for now, I can come back for it if this red is out of the way. Okay, so it's just freed up that space for the yellow I'm on this ball, which is good. Do I develop the black now or do I try and come back for it? I think if I don't develop it now, I'm probably going <laughs> to regret it. Problem is, I'm not going to leave myself an easy, easy finish either way here. I'm leaving the black. Now that is criminal. I'm, I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to try and come back and develop it from this ball. <laughs> That's, uh, no, I'm not. I've got to develop it, otherwise I'm going to be in all sorts. Oh my god. Try to pinch the pocket to, to clear the black. Right. First miss in four frames. Three frames even. So annoying. So annoying. I think I did the right thing, but yeah. Anyway, we'll carry on. Right, three, four, three. I think I just overthought that one a little bit. If the black wasn't touching the red and it had a chance to be doubled, that was probably going to be quite an easy finish, but I tried to do a little bit too much there. Again, if you guys got any questions, feel free to ask. This is English eight ball pool for anyone who's not seen it before. to the tables in my TikTok bio. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, this is an interesting one. What would you guys go, reds or yellows, right in the chat? This is very interesting, actually. Yeah, write the color you would go for in the chat. So I personally think I would go for yellows here. The reason being, if you can make a difficult pot to start with, like black ball rules, I'd probably play red onto yellow, but I'm playing international rules, so I can't pot that yellow yet. So what I'm looking at is playing off this cushion, potting that, and hopefully landing somewhere like this. The yellows offer the first ball if they're in a bad place. I'm probably not going to be able to finish them, but... If I can get the cue ball into a place where I can see a pot on one ball, I should be absolutely fine. Just judging this, this is actually very missable. Okay, so I'm on perfect. Right, so I'm on the one to the middle. That's good. These two are still slightly awkward because you really have to land on this side of the table for them. Um, so it's just a case of figuring out how to do that. I could play one of them now to the corner if I make that shot. Basically, if I make that shot, it's game over. So I've got a way up. What's easier? Potting the easy ball and then this ball and then hoping to finish these four or where they land, where they're laying now, or play this one to the corner, screw back, leave the white where that yellow is, and then have an easy finish for the last five yellows. So that's what I'm weighing up right now. I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and go for the difficult long shot. If I make it, should be a finish. Okay. All right, that yellow dropped. So what happens in English pool, if your color drops and you haven't potted it, it just comes back up and goes where it was. The reason why reds weren't easy, so someone just said I would have gone yellow, reds, it were much easier. These two reds were blocked by the yellow that was here after my first shot. So that's the reason why I didn't go reds. 
By the way, that red yellow wasn't there, it was. There. Okay, so the exact finish for the last four, one to there, two, to there, three, to there, four, to there, five. Hopefully. Oh my God, I can't even see this yellow. <laughs> Ignore everything I just said. <laughs> this is the last yellow, black goes in the middle. Shouldn't be in a situation where I'm queuing over this red, should have hit that much harder. <sighs> what a bad, bad, bad shot. The one before that, just terrible. Well, I've tried to screw off that yellow. Should have just played it, rolled it in and left the black long. I got a bit greedy, a little bit greedy on that one. Four all. Should have just played it plain ball. Tries to play backspin to hold for the middle. Should have played plain ball to leave it long. Idiot. So I do have a, a video on how to break. It's about five minutes long on my page, but you have to be a subscriber to see it as it's a private video. I have around 10. So a lot of the shots that you guys are asking, how do you do this? I have about 10 videos that are all uh, tutorial videos. If you want to learn them, or see them, become a subscriber, and you'll have access to the tutorial shots. Okay, again, write down, <laughs> write down the colour you would go for in the chat, reds or yellows. I think there's only one choice. Saying that, there isn't. There is two choices here. Now, if we look at the yellows, right, here's the upside of the yellows. These seven yellows are in a really good spot if you're anywhere other than where the cue ball is now. So basically with the yellows, you've got to play this ball first. In fact, that goes to the middle, so it's not super difficult. But the problem with yellows is the black. You're going to have to double the black. And if you're not confident on doubles, you know, you probably end up trying to go reds. Whereas with reds, the first shot on this red breaks the black and this red out. So you've developed your two problem reds. The only issue with reds is these two. So you've then got two more really difficult shots. So I think I'm going to go yellows here, but if you're someone who doesn't like doubles, you would probably go reds in this situation. Oh, come on. Right, can I go reds now, yeah? <laughs> so bad. Anywhere but there. this. I mean it's fine but it's just miles away from anything productive. Now I'm going to land that there so I can play this to the corner and break these two yellows out. It's just bad pulled all round really. Okay, four five. Yeah, I probably should, thinking about it, I probably should have played that. I always had that red over the middle as my first ball though, for some reason. Should have just played the plant, you're right. 
I think yellows, is, if those two yellows don't tie up to each other like that, they would have been very gettable, but yeah, not great. The last three frames have been pretty poor, so let's pick it up. Can I re-rack? Why <laughs> is the last time I broke like that, I managed to clear it, so. I'm not gonna talk through a finish because there isn't an obvious one, so I'm just gonna try and break up some balls and then hug to land here first shot, play this ball second, break these yellows up. Probably a 5% chance of a clearance with this, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm on the ball by one two from here. Just need to get lucky with landing on these yellows, really. Split them up. Okay, I land somewhere good. <laughs> so that 5% just went to 3%. But the first double, I should be able to go and hit this red and leave that yellow next, hopefully. Something like that, we got there eventually. Okay. What are you doing? Wow. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop the cue ball there and it's ran about a foot too far. Yeah, to be fair, it's only just been re-clothed. That's the reason why it's playing quite big down the rails. You get about two months where the pockets play pretty big. Uh, it's super fine uh, on this table. And I had it replaced about two, a week and a half ago, so it's still playing quite fast. Got lucky, okay. Again, what would you guys go, reds or yellows? Write it in the chat. I think there's only one answer, but write it. <laughs> I think the first ball, if you go yellows, this is the first ball, but really the, this yellow you'd have to double. With reds, you've got this red. Man, these are both, they're both not great. These three aren't great for either. I'm looking at this ball thinking this is really bad though. Got that ball first land there, this ball second. Oh, this is awkward, they're both bad. I think I'm gonna go reds, but those two reds down the end are just bad, bad. <laughs> Very bad. All right, let's try and get reds. Question is, do I play this ball now? Because it's probably gonna come back to be an issue if I don't. No. Try and play a plant on that, potentially. Potentially. It's just a 
bad shot. Tension, break the problem right out with that. So that was the intention messed it up. It's five six actually, I just messed up. So five six. Write the colour you would go for in the chat. Reds or yellows. Reasons why you would go either. Reasons why you wouldn't go either. Yeah, write your colour in the chat, reds or yellows. So I think I'm going to go reds. The only issue really with reds, this one you'd have to double into this middle, but I'm okay with that. Probably going to leave the double from this ball. Leave that shot. Um, the exact order, don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Now I can start to think start to think about a pattern just for the black. The double might be the ball. Might have to be the last ball. It ideally isn't, but it might have to be. Leaving the cue ball there for black's risky, but I think I've got to play the double last. So the order goes one to there, two to there, three to there. Leave the double, play the double, and then depending on the angle I've got on the red, either move the black or leave the white there for the black to the corner. Barely leave the angle for the double now. That's a, just a bad shot. I think I can leave an angle for a double. I've got to leave an angle for a cross double. So. I don't even have that. I don't even have the angle for the cross double. It needed to be there. God, that's a, this is just bad. Bad all round, this, this finish. Try and go off the yellow, maybe. No, that's not going there. I could try and cut it, but that's just super difficult. I've got to try and cut it. Don't really have an option. And I wear the back. <laughs> oh dear. Anyone for a bit of slide? <laughs> Oh man. So for those of you who don't know what slide is when you get your cushions replaced, um, that's slide. I played that as a plain ball double <laughs> and missed it by a foot. <laughs> I'm 
Do you not get slide on your table when you replace the cloth? Let's see if we can work out an order. Question is, where's the black going? All right, so let's figure out an order. So let's go one to there, to there, two to there, three to there. Four, hang on, four, most likely five, six, something like seven, followed by eight, something like that. That, that order is 99% gonna change. The only change I'm going to make is instead of potting that to that corner, I'm going to screw back to here and leave it for the middle. No, I pause on my front swing. So I'm going here. I pause when I'm here and then go into it. I've worked with a snooker coach in the past, and apparently as long as you've got one or the other, it's fine. As long as you pause at some point, it's absolutely fine. <coughs> Again, I think I've um, developed that as a kid, and then went to a coach and I was like, I was like, do I need to pause on the backswing, because obviously this was when I was playing snooker. And he said, no, as long as you pause on either the front or back swing, then you're good. It's not much point in me breaking with, from a different position if I'm not gonna use that in the, in the future, so. I appreciate that, mate. I mean, I've only been live for, uh, on YouTube for like just over a week. Um, but hopefully when it becomes more popular, it'll get more likes and stuff, so. All right, difficult clearance here. Let's get rid of the brake pad. Thanks so much for tuning in on YouTube, TikTok. It's currently 700, 700 of you on TikTok and 170 of you on YouTube. Be sure to hit that sub button if you haven't on both channels. I think with this finish, Gonna have to go yellows by the looks of things. Um, yeah, let's go yellows, try and make something happen.
So really the problem with yellow is this yellow is the worst one on the table. So I'll try and move that with the shot after this. I think I do. So I'm just going to screw back from here. And this yellow, hopefully have the angle to screw into this yellow, break it up and the black up, hopefully move those four balls this way a little bit and leave myself a shot on this. I mean, I'm on that ball, very lucky to be on this one to the corner, but I travelled through a gap that I didn't think existed. So now I've just got to figure out where the rest of these yellows are going. Certainly not an easy finish. Oh wow, this is actually really difficult. Where do these last three red yellows go? I think I've got to play this one to the corner maybe. Oh, that's bad. Let's I'll try and land here. Yeah, I've got to try and land here for this one to the middle maybe. God, that's not a good shot. Recovery mode now. Very difficult to finish from here. That yellow does go to the corner and if I make it, it should be a finish. Okay, so yellow to middle, yellow to corner, black to middle. No, sorry, no. So really I missed that because um, the red, I had the red in my eye line a little bit and it did cover, it covered like a quarter of the pocket. So should have taken a little bit more time on it maybe. It wasn't an easy shot, but I should have had that. Again, thanks so much for everyone for tuning in. If you can hit that sub button on YouTube follow button on TikTok, would very much appreciate it. Okay, what are we on? Five and eight. Ugh. Started off really well, started off quite well, had three clearances in a row earlier. But gone downhill since. Right, so just don't tie up any balls. Don't go next to that yellow. Of course. <laughs> I think you've got to go reds. I think you have to go reds here. Back yourself to make a long red first shot. This red's going to need to be double black roll. that red out? No. I'm trying to force my way out of it. I don't have the angle for the double yet, but I would like to think I can get back to that. Make this, leave the cue ball here, one of these two to the middle and go from there. Slow down. Let's try and get that red out. If I can avoid these yellows, there's a chance I'm going towards that red. Nope. Nope. How's it going, Ashley? Good to see you. How are we doing, guys, on YouTube? Good to see you. Thanks so much for the uh, subs, likes, etc., etc. Hit that like button if you can. I'm trying to build my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could hit that sub button as well. 
plenty of practice sessions, live practice sessions and live matches throughout the week. English eight ball pool is the game. What's that? Five and nine. Right, so we've gone from five and five to five and nine, so not great. Okay, got to go yellows. This is the worst ball for yellows, but gonna have to go yellows. Could land on that last, to be fair. Where's the black coming then? Okay, so six and nine. I'm not going to say what that is, but yeah. What time is it? 1.25. So I'm probably going to end this live in about half an hour. It's always going to be a short one. I'm going to get all the balls out after this to try and do the 45 ball drill. Problem with reds is the first shot. Problem with yellows is that yellow in the middle by the black spot. If you can make a, make one of the difficult reds, and this should be an easy finish. That is a really really difficult ball to to both break out and land on. Well, actually, it goes to this corner. Oof. Tell you what, might be going yellows here. That's definitely the last ball, and you can get onto that from this ball. So the question is, how do you get on this ball? So I think with yellows, we're going to go first ball to the middle. Come forwards to there. Second shot, this one, to there. Third shot, this one. And then out to there. It's a bit risky this, but I'm going fourth shot there. I need to come over here to get straight on this ball. I'm going to play this ball fifth. Roll forwards to about here, ideally. Play this ball sixth. I'm probably going to be more there. Play this ball sixth. Come back. Play that one to the corner seventh. And then black into the middle. So that's the ideal finish. Two out of ten chance it goes exactly like that, but we'll see. 
Dead straight, I mean, pretty much dead straight. Could roll forwards actually to there. Now I'll try and stick to the same finish, but it's probably not going to happen now because I'm pretty straight on this. Yeah, it was never gonna, it was never gonna work the way I wanted it to. But hey ho. Tell you what, actually, might be able to. Might be able to do it the way I was saying. Cheers guys, appreciate it. Again, if you could hit that follow button, we'd very much appreciate it. Well, that sub button on YouTube, hit that. Cheers Connor. Uh, it protects the uh, the braking area from cloth burns. So if you ever see those white marks whenever you play on the table, it's because you, the, you're effectively burning the cloth when you brake. So um, yeah, this stops that. Obviously, you wouldn't use it in a competition, but it's my home table, so I just want the cloth to last as long as possible. All right, so reds or yellows, uh, both difficult. Both have a problem. One for yellows, really bad. Two reds down there, not good either. So which one's worse? That's the question. I think with yellows, I can play first ball, try and break that problem out, knowing I should be leaving myself a shot on that. So that's, I'm gonna go yellows for that reason, but they're not easy at all. So we've got rid of the problem, so that's now goes in here. I'm on the ball that I thought I would be, but it's difficult. I don't think I can play that one, can I? No, I can't play that. I've got to try and get this one to the corner. It's very missable. Uh, middle, sorry. Okay. So now, what do I do with these two? The black's gone in a really awkward place as well. I don't love this one because it's um, because you, I'd like to double it, but this red's in the way. All right, I'm going to try and play this one and try and screw up to here. If I can land next to the chalk, then it leaves this into the middle. Too much, way too much. It's fortunate, this yellow, it goes, but it's very, I could easily hit that red. It kind of sits on the right side of the line of it. So I need to try and cheat the pocket here a little bit, knowing that if I play topspin, I should be landing here for that ball. Or do I try and cut this to the middle? No, I'm gonna try and cut the one I said to the middle. I think this one's missable. So is this to be fair, but. Yeah, it was just no, never going to be easy. <sighs> All right, that's seven and ten. 
Let's finish on that. Um, let's get the nine ball set out, change it up a little bit. So I got seven clearances, I missed 10 out of, I basically got seven out of 17. So whatever percentage that is, that's how much I cleared up. Okay. All right, so we've got the nine ball set out. Let's see if we can go through some finishes on this. This is a smaller nine ball set than the ones you guys are probably used to if you play this game on American tables. It's a smaller table, smaller balls. These are English eight ball sized nine balls. Let's see if I can get any finishes on this. <laughs> And if I pop the nine, I'll just re-spot it. If I pop it on the break. Would have liked for the two to have stayed up, but. Yeah, we've got to go four onto seven first ball. Not easy. Yeah, not easy at all, but all right, let's go again. It's all about the break, really, this game. If you can get lucky on the break and land on the one. I don't normally play it, so I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> don't know where I'm leaving the cue ball. I just hit and hope on the break. If you guys want to see a funny video, um, check out the video I posted this morning on my TikTok page. I posted it yesterday on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and I think, I actually, I post, posted it on YouTube as well. Check out my YouTube shorts, most recent YouTube short. It's basically a bit of nine ball. All right, so I'm gonna try, I'll try a strategy a friend showed me. So one, trying to aim the one into the chalk and that should hopefully put it in this middle. Ugh, for us. <laughs> I mean, it worked, but nothing on the two. Tell you what, just for the sake of this practice, otherwise it's boring, I play one shot and I miss, and then you guys don't actually see me play any pool. I'm gonna just put the cue ball where I want for the two. I mean, I want it somewhere else other than this, but you know. Still not even ideal for the three. Uh, links in my bio, Lee. It's Amazon, Jobby. Although, double check, because um, I'm not sure if the link... Basically, I've got two types of scoreboard. There's one down the opposite end of the table where I'm on YouTube, and that doesn't have... Um, here, I'll show you. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's the other one. It's just got... The scores, it doesn't have like guest and home. Um, it's smaller, it's more compact, so you can take it around with you. Um, whereas this one's a little bit bulkier and a little bit bigger. But yeah, I think the one at the opposite end of the table is the one that's in my bio. Again, trying to get the one into the middle ideally. Leave me a 
a shot on the two. Oh, this game's so difficult. <laughs> Kind of close to giving up with the nine ball set because I just can't play the game. Um, I'll try and do the 45 ball drill after this, give that a few goes, and then uh, finish from there. leave me something. All right, this will be the last game I'll play on this and then I'm gonna get the, um, get all the balls out. Shooting soldier. Really? All right. Yeah, that's me done with this. But let's get the uh, get all the balls out. Get all the balls out, and um, yeah, let's go. So if you haven't seen this before, what I'm doing is taking 45 balls, uh, 45 balls, spreading them out, try and clear the table without hitting another ball. No doubles, no plants, or banks, or combos, as you guys, some of you might call it. I'll give this about, I know I said I'd finish in half an hour, but I'm probably going to want to do this for at least 15 minutes, depending on how frustrating it is. So a little bit of a long setup, I'm aware. But again, for anyone who's never seen it before, five columns, nine rows. You're trying to um, trying to clear up all the balls without missing, and you're not allowed to touch a different ball on the table. Let's just straighten up the lines a little bit. Uh, the plastic protects the area you break from. Stops, it prevents cloth burn. All right, let's do this. They're pretty straight. They're not perfectly straight, but they're pretty straight. I 
I know what you mean about OCD though, mine kicks in massively on this drill. All right, let's do it. Didn't touch that red. That's the same red, yeah. Got ya. Got ya. <laughs> Don't miss the trick, pal. <laughs> I'd hit that. <laughs> Mind you, I would have touched the red if I'd done that. So. All right, but you guys get the gist. You're not allowed to uh, hit any other balls. If you do, you start again. I've never completed it, Connor. I've got 35, I want to say, or something like that. 36, 38. Oh. I've never got above 40 on it. doesn't lean to my strengths. Like my strengths are not cue ball control. <laughs> like that. My strengths are potting balls. I guess it does. That doesn't make any sense. The, as much as you've got to be good at potting balls to do the drill, your positional play and your cue ball control have to be more, have to be on point. Give me a shot at the blue. <clears throat> What's not straight? That, that, that. There's loads of not straight, mate. It's the least of my worries though, I'll be honest. Potting balls is probably a bigger concern. Those of you who know me know that this drill takes me at least 20 minutes to even get past five balls. So. I'll start to get the feel for it in a bit. Start from somewhere different, try and mix it up. These balls are so close to these. I don't know why I've set them up like that, I don't know. What was I thinking? Seems like there's loads of space in this area and nothing in this area. I think I've got to redo the layout in a bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, let's create more space here. Definitely too tight in this area. be a very short live. <laughs> All right, I just need to get the first past the first 10. Past the first 10 to give myself any kind of chance. Let's go this way, I've never done this before. Played it anyway. Knew it was going to happen. Played it anyway. Again, just getting past the first 10 balls. That's all I'm trying to do right now. Just get past the first 10. In fact, get past the first five. That's the goal for now, get past the first five balls. exactly the same thing and this yep yeah, right I'm gonna fix that and I'm gonna restart because that red is that orange is way too far off the cushion <laughs> Finally see the orange.
move. Yeah, I knew I was going to want to hit that because I was going to hit that if I hit it full ball. What an idiot. So worried about hitting the other ball, but I just didn't put any power into that at all. Alright, that's so far the best today, because I've only started about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, anyone who's just joined, I'm trying to pop all 45 balls um, without hitting another ball. You're not allowed to double any ball and you're not allowed to plant or combo any ball. Let's go again. Again, the first 10 balls are the hardest, then it starts to open up a little bit, and then it's the last 10 balls which become the hardest. So the middle of it isn't super difficult where more space is opened up. Why are you hitting so hard? Why are you hitting so hard? It's 
Starting to get a little bit of rhythm now though. Come on. The goal today is to get at least 20. Need to get past the first four balls, uh, first ten balls. Man. That's the first time I think I've ever been in a situation where all six pockets are cleared with like the majority of the balls on the table. Wasn't what I was planning on doing, but should have been a better one that. Should have been a better attempt. I'm staying until I get at least 20. <laughs> I'm just going to fix something, you guys can see how that's off. They're all off. <laughs> done it again. Every time. Just 
Fix it, maybe? Rushing it, rushing it. No, you're not allowed to plant and you're not allowed to double. Put the nine too far out. Why did I do that? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Didn't think I could even hit that.
there's some, no, I'm not even going to get that. It's too important. So I'm ringing my front doorbell. <laughs> this is, do they not realise what's happening? doorbell. I am going to make the excuse that thing's fucking distracted me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. What an idiot. <laughs> so irritating. Yes, window kid. Love it, man. Alexa, play playing out. Give window kid a follow, guys. He's in the chat. This is his song. God, that's so annoying. That was probably one of the best like layouts of the table I've had in a long time. He is in here. He's challenged me to a game of pool. 500 pound a man. What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon I should play him? 500 pounds each. He says he's really good, so. <laughs> should I give him a go? Why did my doorbell have to fucking ring in language? How did, why did it have to freaking ring? <clears throat> cool, that didn't touch that. Looked like it, but it didn't. I can't even think what I did before. What did I do before to get as far as I did? Potted balls, that's the main thing, right? Thank you. 
Oh, don't hit the purple. <laughs> Is this still window kid on the on the the uh on the mix here? What's happening? Alexis just doing her own thing. Yeah, it is, it is infuriating, Wayne, trust me. It's terrible. Easily the worst drill I've ever started to do and then never finished. This, the shot after this is the key shot. You've got to make this yellow to the middle to stand a chance. Rush that massively, massively rush that. Give me the four no, purple. Ugh. I can hit that, but I don't know if I can pot it, and it's leaving me nothing, even if I do pot it. <laughs> it was all going all right. myself a thing. Alright, let's get the music back to Alexa. Play Britpop on Shuffle. Shuffling Britpop mix in Spotify. Ugh. Only chance of, no, there's no chance. Cue ball straight in. Don't touch it. Thank you. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's the only shot as well. It's the only shot. Got blue. Got blue into the middle. Nope. Nope. Nope.
Oh, buckets. <clears throat> Swerve for the blue. Do I go for that one? Pointless. Come on, one good shot. Got to swerve around this seven. Oh, oh just fucking take. That's so irritating, man. How many was that? That was quite a few. I'm probably going to go in about 10 minutes, but we'll see. That's the best I've done today. Plays like a UP table at the minute because the cloth's new way. It will soon start to tighten up in the corners. Right, middle pocket now, new.
If you're watching on TikTok and you want to see this on a different camera, go onto my YouTube channel. I'm streaming from the opposite end of the table. You'll be able to see it from both sides. I don't even know what cam two means, but okay. Whoever gets the comments up, the more comments I have, the more uh, engagement and the more followers TikTok send me, so it's good. No, mate, it's zero. You're only, only one life. I've been trying to do this for about six months. <laughs> On and off. I haven't dedicated like a full session to it before. Do the same thing as last game. Deja vu. These colours need to move up. Give me some space. That'll do. That'll do. I'm giving it five more tries. I can't get I can't get past five balls at the minute. Do my absolute head in. Okay. I will be back doing this uh, challenge tomorrow, most likely. So if you want to see this again, hopefully I can get a bit, of, a bit better than I do today. If you want to see me try and do it again, hit that, hit that follow button or that sub button on YouTube. Yeah, I'm very, very close to just giving up now. <laughs> All my focus has just gone since that one that I threw away. I mean, I've hit the red. <laughs> That's all I could do, really. I'm gonna give it one more, actually. This will be the last attempt. All right, I'll go until I get past five balls.
find me in a position where I can actually do something. Couldn't do anything with that. All right, that's me done, guys. I'm just gonna try and clear these up, but I'm, I can miss, basically. I'll try and clear them up as fast as possible. Again, for those of you wondering what I'm doing, I'm just me messing around now. Just trying to clear up all the balls as fast as possible so I can go to lunch. Let's just spread them out and just... What do we reckon, in under a minute and a half? Someone get the stopwatch out, see if I can do this in under a minute and a half. Let's go. chalk. <sighs> Terrible. And now my back's fucking killing me. I said a minute and a half, probably more like five and a half minutes. Miscued, I need chalk now. Middle. All right, that's me done. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you've got any last second questions, feel free to ask. But I've got to go. Ugh. Appreciate all the likes, follows, and shares on both TikTok and YouTube. 
If you could sub to YouTube, that would be amazing. Guys on TikTok, sub to YouTube as well. The link is in my TikTok bio. I'll be live again tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I've got to shoot off now. Thanks so much everyone on YouTube for uh, tuning in. Again, hit that sub button if you want to see live practice session and matches. Practice sessions and matches. I'll be doing that drill probably tomorrow. So yeah, uh, be sure to hit that sub button if you can. Check out all my videos and my shorts and stuff. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys on the next one.